What's going on today guys and welcome back to Eddie Studios. If you haven't been here before, I do weekly videos with tips and tricks to help you be a better videographer and today we're going to get back into doing some editing on our phone. That's right. We're going to shoot something with my Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and I'm going to use my um, small rig stability here so that I can get a really good shot and then we're going to bump it right into Power Director and do some color corrections on my shots because the Sony Xperia gives you a few different color profiles to shoot in and I'm gonna use one that's a little bit more muted down and we're gonna add that pop of color and post and some contrast and I'm gonna show you how to go about doing that and maybe we'll correct some white balance issues as well. We're gonna talk about a couple issues in the Power Director color space of color grading and color corrections and then I'll recommend a couple of different things to make it easier for you in there and I'm also going to talk about a different app that might have a bit of a better color grading software in it and that'll lead into next week's video where I'm going to compare these two apps because they're both general editors and one of them has more of one thing than the other and the other one has more of another thing than the other we're going to get right into that next week guys but this week I just want to give you a little bit of help on doing some color corrections in Power Director and touch base on this other app. So stick around to the end and we'll talk about that other app. But first I want to show you how to do the best work you can with Power Director. All right guys, so here is one of the clips that I shot today. I'm just scrolling through it. And it's just me driving in the car and I just wanted to kind of get this cool looking shot behind the hand on the steering wheel. Um, and, and I thought it looked kind of cool. So I, so I did this shot, but as you can see, it needs some saturation and some contrast. And obviously, if I have a, a super in-depth color grading software, I'd probably do a lot more with like making certain colors pop and stuff like that. But on PowerDirector, you have only a few options. So they're under adjustments. And I just want to show you it first, and then I want to talk about the problems that people have when it comes to doing color on PowerDirector, and I want to solve that for you. Under adjustments, you have your brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, which hue is like definitely one of those ones that's very much a stylistic thing to play with. It's not something you're going to do when you're trying to really do a lot of color correction. you got temperature, tint, and sharpness. Brightness, contrast, and saturation will probably be what you mostly mess with. Tint is also going to be important for most cameras. First, I'm thinking we're definitely bright enough. We might want to mellow that out in this one, but if I want to do my saturation, I will up my saturation a bit. It can take a lot of saturation on this. The way I shot this, it's very muted profile. And then I can go contrast and, and bump some contrast into it. Let's play with it. So I go all the way up and then I'll back it down. That looks pretty good. And then if I wanted to play with the temperature, you can always you know make it warmer or cooler. Whatever you feel like. I feel like bringing my skin tones out by warming it up a bit might be awesome with this one. And then the tent, it's going to be like your magentas or your greens. And most cameras either favor one or the other. So most cameras will give you a little too much green or a little too much magenta. Mine seems to give me a little too much green. I would maybe go up like 55-ish towards magenta, 54. So this is what I want to talk about. As you can see, I was trying to hit 55 and it stopped at 54. Now, this is a problem when you have multiple clips. So that's the problem I want to solve for you. So your trick here is say I was cutting this clip up, either do your color grading before you cut it up, or if you have multiple clips that are in the same shot, the same, they're, they're from the same scene, they have all the same settings done on them and you want to match all the colors that you correct. I'm gonna show you how to do that, but we're gonna do it by just cutting this clip up just because I don't have multiples in the same shot. Um, but let's reset everything. So I'm gonna get rid of all my corrections. And let's just trim this clip real quick. So let's go back out here and we're just gonna split the clip. All right, so say I make corrections here and we'll just do an example of saturation. Say I wanted to get my saturation at 178 because that was perfect for me. But then I go over here and I'm like, okay, well, I got to match that, obviously, because, you know, it's the same same exact shot. We want to match our color. So I'm going to my saturation. I'm like, 178. 
and then I can't get it to exactly stop at 178 because of how they set this up here, which I think they should just make it up there. I did it, but it's not always that easy. In some phones, it doesn't react as easily as other phones. But to eliminate that, I go to the other clip, and I hit the saturation, and while I'm there, there's a button on the left-hand side, three down. What that does is it copies the correction you're doing on this clip to all the other clips in the timeline, and it pops up there, applied to all clips on the same track. So it's applied this saturation change to the other clips, and you can do that for each of them. And even after you've applied it, you can apply it here, and then if you do have to make some changes on another clip on the track, you can go to that clip and make the changes. So what I like to do, even if it's a lot of different clips, um, and different shots that maybe don't match perfectly is match them all and then go and make your subtle adjustments to your other clips because I could still go over here and even though I copied it to all of them I can still make adjustments to this one if I wanted to like down here and it would not change the first one so the first one would still be at the 70 so you're not stuck there but it does copy them to all the clips in the timeline that helps you out with a general color or helps you match it. So as you can see, what you see on the screen here is about all you have in PowerDirector. Your other options though, once you do do all your corrections on here is you do have like your, your filters, which are kind of like LUTs. Um, and there are so many of them. Here's all the ones that are just on here that I have like already on. Like I could, you could do monotone. So I could be like, let's just make the blues pop. Well, now that's too bright, but but you know you know what I'm saying. So you could do stuff like this, um, and just uh, and play with things like that. Let's do none. And you can go to this portrait one and change stuff here. So you can tell that my I, I needed to mess with my brightness just because of how bright it is doing. It's making all of these. So in my color grade, I should have done something with the brightness. But like I'm saying, there's extra stuff you can do to it by adding these LUTs after the fact of doing your color correction stuff under adjustments. And like I said, the brightness is a little, let's get on this one. The that's probably better. It's a little bit overexposed. That's pretty accurate. And saturation, I, like I said earlier, I can pump that all the way up on this. And I would want to adjust and add these to all of them. So they match. All right, so Power Director's pretty simplistic, but there's a few little tricks and, and tips I hope helped you guys out a little bit. Um, let's jump real quick into the other app I was talking about that we're going to talk about next week, and that is Kenny Master. I just want to show you how much more in depth their color grading software is on that app than Power Director. And if you're watching Power Director, keep this in mind because you could really up your game if you tried to make your color grading closer to this style and, and this in depth. Let's get right into there real quick and come right back. All right guys, let's get into Kenny Master here and <clears throat> we will try to do the same thing. You know, 16 by nine, we'll start a project and Pull the same clip. All right, let's get in here. Well, let's click on the clip, and we'll go to our color. So you got color filters, which are kind of like the filters I showed you over in Power Director. But adjustments is going to be our color adjustments. So as you see, you have brightness, contrast, saturation. We already had that in Power Director. You got vibrance, which is kind of adding to your your um here to your uh, like saturation um, but it also kind of deepens and does stuff like that um, temperature highlights and shadows which are nice to be able to adjust I'm adjusting them on accident as I'm scanning which is kind of a fault you got gain gamma and lift lift is your lows gamma is your mids and gain is your highlighted areas of your image and that's making adjustments to those specifics this is something that easily could be added by Power Director. I really hope they do. Oh, come on. This is this is a fault here. The fact that while I'm trying to scroll this, it's making adjustments. That's that's a fault. Um, I'm giving it to to Kenny Master though because they have so much, and they have also have the apply to all button too. So same idea with just more options. Like so, like how my highlights are just boosted out there. 
instead of just messing with my overall brightness, I can mess with my highlights, take my highlights down. And then bring my shadows. I like my shadows. And then this is like adding contrast, but adding contrast in the right direction. So like I want to go darker with my contrast. Um, another thing that would be nice for these softwares to add is like a waveform so you can see where you're making your adjustments. If I mess with the highlights and the shadows, I don't necessarily have to do much with the uh, contrast. Let's add some saturation though. I think I added the right amount of contrast doing this. And I would almost rather add contrast messing with highlights and shadows versus just a general contrast. Because you don't know when you're adding general contrast if it's adding to the highlights or if it's adding or if it's bringing your highlights up and bringing your shadows down and which ones it's doing more of. And it's better if you get to play with it because then you're deciding what it's doing more of. So I'm just playing with this. So that's messing with the gamma. It's a little backwards though. You would think darkening it up would be going to the negative, but okay. Either way. Right. The fact that you can mess with all these is just like such an upgrade from the Power Director's version of it. One thing they're missing here though, so I like the vibrance. I like that I can pull those, make those blues pop. Um, we are missing our tent. So we're missing the abilities to uh, mess with the magenta and the greens. So that is a, something that's missing out here um, that Power Director has. But otherwise, they have so many more options than Power Director. All right. We'll get more into all that next week. So what do you think? Kenny Master has quite a bit more when it comes to doing the color correction and color grading in it. But there's other things you can do in Power Director that kind of helps it out by adding looks and stuff like that. Next week, we're going to dip more into both of these two apps and see which one might be better for you to use because they both cost around the same amount if you want the full software on each of them. They both cost around the same amount. Before we leave today, I do want to tell you guys that I did a full video on my Sony Xperia 1 Mark III that I shot all that footage with. Check it out, cards above, and um, also did some a video on this awesome cage here that we did and I will throw that video at the end you guys can check it out I do want to ask you guys please leave comments below and tell me what else can I do for you this year in 2022 to help you out making better videos do you want to learn how to shoot better with your phone what you can do things like that please let me know below if this video worked out for you and helped you out with the color grading Ian Power Director or Kenny Master. Like, subscribe, stick around for more stuff, guys. Until next week, check out that video on this guy here right above. And I'm going to go shoot something awesome and hopefully have some good B-roll to edit with you guys in those different softwares next week. Peace out. Shoot something. Post it. Don't be shy. Later, guys.